Well, we're back here at Legendary Motor Car. Now that the chassis is all done, body's all painted, we're ready to mate the two. Pretty simple procedure. 12 mounting places, bolts go through into the body. Now the trick is, you don't just lower it down and start reefing it down. You're actually going to use shims now because what we have to do is we have to lower the body perfectly square on the chassis. We don't want to scrape any of the rocker panels. Once it's lowered down there, we're going to start in the front. We're going to mount those bolts. We're going to put them through into the body. Now in the rear, we can use shims and we can actually lift the back of the car up and change the door gap open and closed. I'm going to show you in a minute what I mean by that when we lower the body down. Let's get to it first. Well now that we've got it set down on the frame on the mounts but with no bolts in it, I'm going to show you what happens if you shim it up and down. Go ahead Chris, lift the back. And you can see how the door gap is opening and closing as he lifts and pushes down. So what's real important here, especially with a convertible, is you want to put all of the bolts in, check your gap, make sure they're all torqued down properly, and then decide if you're going to do shims. So the next step is for uh, to put in all 12 bolts and see what we've got. All right, now you can see that the door is actually a little bit above the quarter panel, but keep in mind we don't have any, um, this car has power windows, so we don't have the motors in there, we don't have the glass in there. If you put a little bit of pressure on here, you can see it line up perfectly with the quarter panel. Now this is the most important gap on the car, this back gap and the rocker gap. You can't change the quarter panel gap. So if this isn't right and you start lining up the fenders and the hood to a wrong gap back here, it's all off. Take a little bit of time, make sure that the body's torqued down, make sure that this gap you're happy with before you start progressing on to the rest. Well worth it. Now we'll bolt on the fenders and the hood. Once the doors are lined up to the quarter panel, you're going to keep working forward. The next thing is the fender. Well, what you want to do is make sure you start with the fender up against the door, and you don't want it to bind, so leave the front hanging loose. Once you've got that gap real nice, then you can put shims underneath the front against the rad cradle and make sure that it's not binding. You don't want to push down on it. Now, one little trick. You do all this with the wheels on the ground, all the weight on the car. But the one trick that where you want to jack it up is actually the urethane front bumper. If you have the car jacked up, you'll find that the urethane will move around from the fender. If you then tighten it up snug or as snug as you can with it in the air, once it comes down, that gap will close up real nice. It'll be nice and tight. One last tip is if you use a plastic washer underneath your bolts, as you're adjusting it, you're constantly reefing down the bolt, loosening it off, moving it around. If you don't have this underneath, you're going to scratch the paint. Have this underneath, it's going to save the paint. When it's all set, pull out the bolt, take out your washer, reef it down one last time.